As winter sets in, conditions in the Mustafa displacement camp go from bad to worse. Northern Idlib is one of the coldest regions in Syria. Rain is turning unpaved paths to mud in this makeshift camp. Inside, Abu and Om Muhammad are raising their grandchildren. The wood burner is lit day and night, and she doesn't want her sick grandson to get cold. I used to live in a wonderful house, and now I'm here in a tent. Water enters from every side when it rains. I'm older and struggle to work. It takes a lot of effort. The heaters the family uses create heavy smoke inside the tents, and it's impossible to stay dry. A humanitarian organization helps in the camp. We receive a food basket every month, but it's only enough to last a week or 10 days. We then buy food on credit from the stores. These UN trucks deliver important aid to the town of Sarakib. A local aid group, the Syria Response Coordinators, say the supplies aren't enough to meet the needs of about two-thirds of the population of 1.8 million, living in 1,600 camps. The UN Security Council recently voted unanimously to keep open a major border crossing from Turkey to Syria's rebel-held northwest. It's something the Syrian regime does not support, but its ally Russia does. A surprising but important vote for the council and those in need. But volunteers are overwhelmed and facing funding shortfalls. Sickness is spreading and education is no longer priority. Many who thought their stay here would be temporary are huddling in uninsulated tents, facing yet another winter. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera.